Oh, my name is Willie Thrasher. I'm originally from Inuvik Northwest Territories. I remember years back when I first started in a rock and roll band. Uh, the name of the band was Cordells, and there was Moses Cullen, Louis Goose, Kenny Benoit, Abraham Rubin, Lawrence Thrasher, Jerome Tucker, Larry Gordon, and myself, Willie. And and uh, uh, we played together for about five or six years, and uh, we uh, became pretty hot band in uh, in the territories, and we played all over. And then later in years. The, the band broke up and then uh, one night, one of the last shows that we did, uh, an old man came up to one of our dances and asked us, hey, why don't you do Inuit music eh? and, and do some songs? And I said, yeah. I said, uh, what is that? What is, what is Inuit music? I asked him and then he told us, now, talk about your culture, your life, your, your way of living. And then ever since that night, that man talked about it, I, 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 I never forgot it. And, and that night, I never seen him again ever since. Eh? That was strange. Eh? But I never forgot what he, he said and uh, later in years I started learning to play guitar because I couldn't take my drums around. And the first song I written in Ottawa with CBC was uh, an Eskimo named Johnny and that was my first song that I ever recorded. And then another nine songs that I had to make up were thrown in there too. So, uh, so it was called Spirit Child. It, we did pretty good and then a year later uh, an album called Sweet Grass with a whole bunch of native performers came together and did the Sweet Grass in Quebec City and went all over Europe and it didn't do too bad. And then later on uh, we did the Great Land, uh, the great, not the Great Land, uh, we did Indian the Inuit Country with Sunshine Records in Winnipeg. A lady came up to me, Linda, Linda Saddleback, she, she's a, a lady from Alberta and she, she, she asked me, uh, why didn't you put a CD out? And I said, I wasn't thinking much of it at that time, but after a while it, 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 was, it, was, it was a damn good idea that she gave me to, to put that out. Then Assume Attack came out, and then all of a sudden people from all over Canada, uh, from the stage, from Europe, start buying the CD, and, and the Residential Healing song was one of the most, uh, most songs ever played on the tube, you know. Airplay, uh, it's uh, Odiac, thank you. And 